We're learning about Henri Matisse, and we're thinking about his goldfish. We're going to make a collage. We'll start with three colorful pieces of paper. You can use a pencil if you want to, to make a nice swirly, organic design. Organic means a shape that doesn't have a name, like a square or a circle or a rectangle. I have my scissor hand and I have my helping hand. My helping hand is going to do all the turning while my scissors point straight up. I'm going to cut slowly and I'm going to see if I can cut out my shape in one piece. So I'm going to save the part that I'm cutting out from. I'm going to save that part of the rectangle and I'm going to get my shape. Can you hear how evenly and carefully those scissors are working? Nice little bites as I creep around all of my curves and my helping hand keeps doing the twisting and my scissor hand keeps the scissors pointed away. And because I was careful, cool. The background looks as cool as the shape that I cut out. Nice. I will do the same thing with some bright pink. Ooh, and if you don't like curves, you can cut some straight lines too. I am now going to do what Matisse liked doing. I'm going to keep rearranging my shapes until I get a design that's pleasing to me. I'm trying my shapes and my rectangles in all different ways. That looks good. I'm going to glue things down now. So I'm going to get my glue. I'm going to make sure that it's as tall as my fingernail. I'll pick one piece and look at how carefully I'm going to kind of drive my glue stick around so I get all of those little nooks and crannies and pieces. I'll set down my glue and I will flip over my piece and I'll press down all those little loose ends and I'll probably count to 10 or even 20. I will keep doing that with each of my pieces so that I make sure that everything is going to stay. I don't want anything to fall off of my collage. Making some crooked on purpose is kind of fun because it keeps people looking at my artwork. We're going to make a fish bowl. There were goldfish in a nice bowl in Matisse's painting. I'm going to use water colors, sort of greens and maybe some blues. The nice thing about coloring something that you're going to cut out later is that you don't need to worry about going outside of the lines. So I'll just fill up the whole paper with color. I'll overlap my greens and blues and see if I can get something that looks watery. That looks like something goldfish would like to live in. I'll get my scissors and I'll begin cutting. Again, I want to go slowly. There's no rush. My helping hand is moving the paper and my scissor hand is cutting along the line. When I get to this little curve or divot, I'm going to practice what I've done with our fingers that we've cut out and some of our other shapes where we had to take out a little triangle piece like the teeth in your crocodile. See, I'm just gonna skip right over it and keep cutting. Now I can go back and it's so much easier for me to be able to cut two sides of a triangle. And pop that out and get that nice little curve. Then I'll do a cut here, and I'll do a cut right in here, and pop out to get that curve. My goldfish bowl looks ready for some fish. 
There are lots of ways to draw fish. I might draw a shape that looks like a lemon or an eyeball and put a little triangle on the end of it. I could try drawing an upside down and a right side up rainbow, but mm, that little part's not going to work. If I make it thicker, it might work. I just like practicing. Ooh, that's a different kind of tail and a fin on the top. Maybe I'll start with a circle. Maybe I'll start with a square or a rectangle and make my fish very geometric. That looks like a parrot fish. I can also try to draw a fish with just a triangle. You can experiment and draw any kind of fish that you want to. You're going to draw your fish on this orange piece of paper. See if you can fit three fish on the paper. There's one fish. I think I'll draw a second fish that looks a little bit like a goldfish cracker. And I didn't realize how low my camera was and my third fish is a little cut off, but I made a fish that was long and thin. Giving them some character by putting some eyeballs on and maybe a little smile because they're happy to be in a Matisse painting. And you should cut out your goldfish very carefully. So we'll speed up the film and ooh, I'm cutting, cutting, cutting. My scissor hand staying straight up, my helping hand doing all the work. There they are, my three little fish. Now I'm going to put the whole thing together. I've got my fish bowl. I'll put it on top of my pretty design from the day before. I'll get some glue and make sure that my fish bowl is going to stay on. And I'll glue it down. And then I'll get my three little fish. And just like before, I'll move them around and decide where do I want them. And then I'll glue on the back of those until everything is glued down and lovely. And there you have it, an artwork inspired by Matisse's Goldfish Bowl.